All right, hey guys, so we made it back in the Philippines. We're back in Cebu right now. Um, and we actually aren't going to be in Cebu very long. Richie and I are headed to Manila very soon. And uh, we're not sure how long we're going to be there for. And then shortly after that, um, I will be going back to America. Um, I'm only a part-time traveler. I travel during the colder months in my country and I usually go someplace warm. So half the year I'm at home seeing family, saving, and then the other half I'm traveling. And uh, so yeah, it's getting closer to that. It's, it, time really does fly by. Um, I usually go home around like May. Um, it really depends. Last year I went home in April and this year uh, it depends. I haven't bought my tickets yet. But anyway, um, before Rich and I went to Vietnam, uh, we used up the last of the donation money and we bought materials, building materials for a few different homes that their houses were uh, you know, destroyed from the typhoon. And we tried to help them get to the point where they can kind of um, at least get in and live in. And um, one of the houses was uh, Gorio and his granddaughter, Mary Joy. Um, he was living um, in his house. We actually built the house for him and with his wife. And they were going to extend the house and then his wife passed away, unfortunately. But then he adopted his um, granddaughter and they're living together. And before we left, we bought some materials to um, build her own room. She never had her own room before. So um, now I think we're gonna concentrate on their house since we only have a short period of time um, before we go back to Manila. And then, uh, so before we go to Manila, we want to go check on them today. And we haven't checked on them um, since we bought the materials for them to extend their house. So we don't know what it looks like or anything like that. For those of you that are asking how you can help, um, the best way, a free way, is just to like the video. That's the only thing you need to do. But anyway, um, enough talking. Um, I guess we will head over there and see what the progress is. So we'll see you guys over there. Is your plan to rebuild your home? Mubalik mo aning balaya or dire na lang? Magtagduk mo ko. Tagduk niya na 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 Ah, so they're planning to rebuild there. Did you make this guitar yourself? Ikay gahim mo na tay? Oh. Yeah. He made this himself. Look at that. Gopo kayo. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> hey guys, if you can hear that in the background, Gorio is playing his ukulele. So right now, uh, Mary Joy and Gorio are staying here, and Gorio is actually in the process of building an extra room um, when his wife was alive, but then when she did pass away, he stopped. Uh, but now that there's two people living here, um, Mary Joy, if we were able to build another room there, would you, would you like to have your own room? kanang kung humanan ko na na extra room dito po mo mo kanang nanakay mong room ganahan ka yes yeah mm. all right i think so we can make that happen yeah so the extra room will be there so here's their order and their total is 19301 All right, so we just made it to Gorio's. I haven't walked in yet, but from the outside, you can see that the extra room is in. So that's really exciting. And we just came here. We didn't know if anyone was gonna be here or not. You never know, um, just walking in to someone's house. And uh, luckily, they both are here today. I'll show the outside. So here's a few extra bricks. And here's the other side. So even this wasn't easy for Gario. I mean, you can see where he had to dig out this uh, 
land went all the way down like on a slope and he had to dig all this out to put the extra room in. Hey, Gorio, how's it going? Como esta? Oh, oh. Nice. Oh, that's cool. Very Christmassy. Do you mind if we take a look? Yeah. That's awesome. So there used to be a full wall here. Or no, a window here. Yeah, there used to be a window. You can see where it was. And then uh, Gorio's starting to take that down. Okay. They'll eventually put a door here. Okay. So look at this. This is very spacious. Wow. It's a big room, Mary Joy. This is cool. Man. This is all to yourself. That's so awesome. That's exciting. This is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Like, this is a big, spacious room. This is so cool. When you're outside, you'll not really notice it. Yeah, when they were building it, it was hard to tell how big it might be. But now that we're in it, I mean, you can see how really big it is. It's a really big room. I'm really impressed. Did you do this all by yourself? He thought, oh. Yeah, he, he said. All by yourself, wow. And then now he's starting slowly outside for the terrace because he still have That's cement cool. left over in sand. Okay, cool. That's great. All right. So, Mary Joy, what do you think of your room? Is that even when I guess there's a new room? Yeah, she likes it. Do you have any, um, maybe other things you might want in your room? I don't have any things in your room. I don't have any things in your room. I don't have any And you don't have to answer right now. We'll let her think. And if you want to come up with some kind of list, of things you might want for your room, uh, we'd be more than happy to get it for you. Yeah. Just thinking. Well, that's good. <laughs> well, this is awesome. We're going to let her think, and then we'll make a list. So have you slept in here since it's finished? Do you sleep in here now? Yeah, I guess already. Oh, and she said she yes. She said yes? And where do you, what do you sleep on? Last time she mentioned uh, her Lola bought her a foam. A foam, okay. Yeah, that one. Over there. Okay, so there's a, a little bit of foam. So, uh, I'm thinking like a bed? Yeah. I think a bed would be pretty cool. How would you like a bed? Yeah? Yes. All right. And she mentioned a, a place to put her clothes. So maybe we'll get some kind of cabinet. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Those are two things off the bat that yes. I can think of. Because her Lolo said um, if he has time, he can make a cabinet, but you know, to lessen. So it's not really hard for Lolo. Yeah. And then what what type of floor would you want? Would you want some kind of cover to make it uh, more and colorful? Floor mat, color color. Floor mat, oh, Alright guys, so I just talked to Gorio. Um, the first thing we're going to do is get the walls done inside. So I'm going to go get some skim coat and some nails and then We'll start working on that, and then uh, we'll get the bed, uh, whatever else she needs uh, to make the room complete. So for one thing at a time. So I'm gonna go with the skim coat, and then I'll come back and hopefully get started on that. All right, guys. So I just picked up the two sacks of skim coat and the half kilos of uh, nails. And the total for those is 1,000 even. So there's the start of Mary Joy's room. All right, guys. Here we go. We got the two sacks of skim coat. I did 17 push-ups this morning, so I'm feeling pretty strong. Uh, one at a time isn't so bad. We have a beautiful day. Nice and breezy and very sunny. Ayo! <laughs> One down. Wow. <laughs> oh, I'll go get the other one real quick. All right, guys. So we have the skim coat, and then uh, they were actually on their way out. So uh, we're going to start this tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And Coral said he's going to start at 4 a.m. Yeah. Because it's not in it, it's yeah, not it's hot. Not, not, not. So uh, I don't know, I'm not sure we're going to be able to get here at 4 a.m., but we will come tomorrow 
and uh, help out and see what else we can do. And then for the time being, since they're leaving anyway, Richie and I are gonna go try to find um, the same guy that did the windows for the other houses. So they have four windows here and uh, that'd be nice, nice to have some uh, windows as well. And then we'll just go from there. We'll do one thing at a time. First the walls, then we'll try to get the windows. And then when that's done, then eventually like, you know, the bed and the dresser and some other things. Yeah. But we only have a few days left until we go to um, Manila, but we'll try to get as much done um, while we're here. So, all right, so a good first day. Yes. You feeling happy, Mary Joy? <laughs> <laughs> all right guys, so we're lucky enough to track down Aga. He's the same guy that did the windows for previous jobs. And uh, I just want to support him because he's like a new business guy. So anyway, if you guys are in Toledo area and want to get your windows done professionally, here's Aga and there's his Pardillo. number. If you can see that, Pardillo. And there's his information. So, all right, we're gonna hurry up and try to go over there and then get him measured and then get that going. So, he's gonna follow us. We'll see you guys over there. <laughs> all right, so right now, Aga is just checking the windows. There's a few places uh, Goryeo's gonna finish in the time being. Then over here, but this one looks ready to go. Good job on that, Goryeo. Very good work. And then two more windows here. So it'd be nice to have some windows here. Then they can open it up. Right now it's just boarded up and you know you don't get much natural light to come in and some breeze. So we had some jelly seat windows, they can open and close it. And then one here as well. So that'll help a lot with uh, the brightness in here too, so you don't have to rely on the lights all the time. Yeah. Alright guys, so this is really interesting. I was just kind of walking out and I was like, oh look an egg. And then Mary Joyce said Something I didn't understand, but Subai. but she Richie translated it in his Subai, mm. and I'll try to explain it a little bit. Um, Goryeo was sick, and um, he got the egg to somehow uh, tell what his sickness is. Yeah, I'm not exactly yeah. how it works, but um, uh, there's only a few people that know how to read it mm. or can tell what the sickness is by the egg. And Goryeo is one of those people. So what's the what's the trick? You get the egg from the chicken, and then what do you do to tell how you're sick? What's the next step? So this is an example? Yeah, example. Gilang sample lang. Oh, eh, asan eh, So is it any kind of special egg? No, he just bought just that. Just any egg. egg. Okay, so any kind of egg. Okay. If you don't want to break it, you don't have to. He will not. Okay, okay. 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 But in the real situation, he would break the egg? No. No, okay, okay. Oh, okay, so he oh. said, um, oh, his grand's, oh. grandkids came here and he do the subai, so it will just, you know, float or stand by itself without holding it, but since no one's sick, it it'll will just fall? Yeah, it will fall. Ah, that's really interesting. So if it stays up on the bottle, someone's yeah. sick. Yeah. And then what will they do after that? Like, if it stays up there, what the what's the next step? Um. <coughs> So like he will pray for the saints like that and like to guide him what's the reason of the sickness like that. And just like pray for his health kind yeah, of thing. Pray, okay. Yeah. So if you have an egg at home and want to try it, if you go like this on a bottle and it stays up, that means someone in the circle is sick. Especially for Tate Goryu who, who grew up without doctors and then just their yeah. mom like that. So that is one of their way to no, know what's the reason of their sickness. And it, 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 for them, it works. Yeah. yeah. And for here, it's just normal because mm -hmm. a, lot, a lot of the people around here don't go to doctors. They 
have never been to a doctor. So they, mm-hmm. Gorio, for one, uh, grew up never going to a doctor. So they come up with their own ways mm-hmm. to uh, do things. And like, it's like mind over matter. If you truly believe mm-hmm. it and know that you're going to get better, you know, who knows what exactly is getting him better. But if you truly believe that you're going to get better, I think you will. So no matter what you believe, I still think your mind is yeah. very, very powerful. If yeah. you believe something enough, then even getting better, I think that will help. So <laughs> always think positive. You know, yeah. that's like part of it too. Like uh, any negativity that gets in your brain, I think will bring you down. But mm. if you stay positive, it always kind of yeah. make things always better. Well, anyway, I thought that was interesting. So yeah. it's funny how one egg, I was just walking out the door. I was like, oh, look at the egg. And then they started talking. I was like, oh, wow, that's really interesting. Mm. All right, guys, so we just got back from Gorio's. Uh, Aga finished doing the estimate. We paid him 7000 And he does have other jobs going on right now, so he might not be able to do it right away. But uh, that will give us time to do the skim coat and uh, finish like the frame for the window so we can put those in. So it was a good first day. We got the skim coat and the windows paid for. And then uh, tomorrow, we'll try to go back as early as possible to get going on the skim coat. Uh, we probably won't start as early as uh, Gorio. He, I think he's going to start like at 4 a.m. But uh, we'll go there a little bit later and see how he's doing. And then so that's about the end of the day for today. I'm going to go give my bike some TLC. It needs an oil change and maybe some other things. And then uh, tomorrow, we're going to start at Gorio. So uh, we'll see you guys then. Thanks, Blutoy. Bye, guys. <laughs> Our short little cameo. Bye, guys. <laughs> a little cameo from uh, Bluto. We've been trying this morning to uh, find a helper for Gorio. Um, we did visit him, Gorio, already, and he has some done, but you know, he does need a helper. We're going to try to get the stuff for uh, Mary Joy's bedroom. Tomorrow, there's an 80% chance of rain, so it'd be nice to get that done today because today is a perfect day for a delivery. Bluto is not going to be able to work until tomorrow. Mm-hmm. But anyway, that's kind of our morning. So I think we're going to go do some measurements at Gorio's and then uh, we'll go to the store and get some of the things that she needs to finalize the room. So I'll let you guys see what the room looks like so far. All right, guys, so we're in Mary Joy's room right now. So Gorio got up early and the first thing he did was fix the window frame. So now that's ready for the windows. And then he was able to uh, smooth out some of the walls and some of the cracks. And then on this side as well, you see some of the cracks here. He's going to continue going this way. And then Baluto is going to help out for tomorrow to put the skim coat on, which is right over there. And then uh, they should be able to knock down this room for tomorrow. So we should be in good shape. And then uh, we, do, we do want to take advantage of the weather. Uh, it's sunny today. And um, it's not fun delivering uh, furniture and different things in the rain. So tomorrow there's an 80% chance of rain. And then the next day too and the next day. So um, today we want to take advantage. So we're going to go down. Uh, we just measured for the floor mats. And then we'll get a bed. And then maybe some kind of dresser. And then we'll see what else. But, um, yeah, I think we're in good shape to hopefully get this finished before we go to Manila. So I guess we'll just head down there now and see what we can get. What time did you wake up today, Gorio? Huh? 3 a.m. Wow. Awake at 3 a.m. What time do you go to bed? 8. Okay. Alright guys, so we made it to the mall. There's lots of different choices here. As a guy, I really have no idea what I'm doing. Richie's over on that side. Uh, I think step number one, we're going to try to find a bed. And there's a few over here and a few on that side too. There's a lot of different choices. There's one for 5000 all right so i think we finished with the upstairs we're in the same building which is good um now we're going to work on the floor mat the theme today is blue so we're going to stick with blue we almost got everything here we still have to get a dresser with we have to go someplace else but so far so good we're almost there 
Nice, windy, beautiful day out here. So we got most of it done. We're about 90% done of the shopping. We still need to buy a little dresser for the clothes. All right, guys, we just got our dresser. Come check the store out. Very, very nice ladies, thank you. So they're gonna pick this up tomorrow when they deliver everything else. And the total for the dresser was 1,600. Richie is drawing a map. Let's see I'm, I'm how it looks. <laughs> nice map. <laughs> All right, so we're taking our little lunch break. But there's always a bunch of uh, kids here helping. Hey guys, they're helping with our bikes over there. When you park, usually some kids come up and like to watch it. They'll put like a cardboard piece on your seat and some different things. And they're helping out, so they ask for some food. You're welcome, guys. And there's a drink and fries coming too. All right, guys, so the delivery came a little bit sooner than we thought, and they're not quite done with the room. But Mary Joy has not seen it yet, so I wanted you guys to experience her seeing it for the first time. So it's not set up yet, but you guys can use your imagination what it will look like. Hopefully tomorrow they're done with the room, and then we can put that in there. Well, anyway, ready, Mary Joy? Three, two, one. This is all for you. So tonight, if you wanted to, you could actually use the bed. Your very own bed. Wow. So Goro has been working in here to get ready for the skim coat, which is all ready. All the cracks are filled in. Then the window's ready for the windows. Eventually we'll get those in. So tomorrow's a big day. Baluto is gonna come and Gorio, we're gonna work on the skim coating. And then uh, once that's all dry, we'll get the floor and then the bed in. And then we'll put the desk, we'll arrange everything. And then hopefully soon we can get the windows in. But cool. Awesome work today, Gorio. <laughs> Alright, three, two, one. Wow. Well, today, set this up. Nice. And there's some keys in here, too. So you can put some things in here that you don't want other people to get, like money or anything else. And you can go like this. And it's locked. So tomorrow will be the fun day. We'll get everything ready, get the skim coat, and then it should be almost done tomorrow. The only thing we're gonna be waiting on, if we get the skim coat done tomorrow, mm -hmm. is the windows. So uh, there'll be windows here, windows there, and then the two windows there. And then be almost complete. So very, very cool. Excited for your own bedroom? Excited na kasi mohang kagaling ng kwarto? Yes. Huh? Oh. oh, she doesn't like here anymore. She likes it there. <laughs> <laughs> and that's one thing uh, I kind of notice, you know, a lot of kids here, they have like a cough or something mm. like that, like in their lungs. And I think the reason for that is like sleeping on the ground where, you know, it's cold, it's damp. Now sleeping above the ground, uh, you'd be drier and uh, I think comfy. healthier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not just that, just healthier and comfy, of course. We got the thickest mat we could find. And uh, yeah, we have one actually thinner uh, we had before and that was really comfortable. So this one's even double the size. So very cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Her very first bedroom, guys. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's very spacious. So she has enough room to have her bed. I'm not sure exactly. We'll let her decorate it. She can 
put the bed wherever she wants. But there's enough room for the bed, and then, you know, the study side, and this somewhere else, and plenty of room on the ground if she wants to, you know, some kids, even though they have a bed and, uh, like, furniture to read and stuff, they still sit on the ground and read sometimes. So it's nice to have enough room for that as well. And puzzles if she has one, or, you know, whatever, whatever different toys that she has along the way. So it's exciting. So tomorrow will be a fun day. <laughs> it should be almost finished tomorrow, so it's very exciting. So Gloria, awesome seeing you. Mary Joy, good seeing you too. And then we'll see everyone tomorrow. <laughs> I want to join. <laughs> Richie. Yeah. <laughs> Lolo is very happy. Good. That's good. Bye-bye. <laughs> see you guys. Bye-bye.